Hey everyone, how are you all? We are so close to Christmas and today I have the candy stick tutorial that I had promised. So I'm Booba, welcome to the channel. Without any further ado, let's get started. Begin by making your measurements on your Depron XPS board 1 meter by 68 centimeters. I'm going to have to measure out 22 centimeters. So for this, I'm going to use a ruler to make my markings or an item of stationery of the same length. So I'm going to use this item here, which is exactly the same length. So I'm going to place it on the edge of my board and measure out from one end to the other. Then after, also along the sides. And whilst I'm here, I'm going to do the outer edges of our candy cane. So after I've made some of my markings, I have a look at the size that I want it to be. And with a large ruler, I just need to join together the little marks I made. So I made an equal number of marks on each side. And in order to make the more rounded section of the candy cane, I look at where the middle of the marked out parts are from one part to the other. Then I get some tape to help me out. Actually, I'm going to use some string and I'm going to secure one end where I made my marking in the middle and the other I'm going to use as a compass. You can do this with a pen or a pencil and make a rounded line connecting one point to the other in the same way that I'm doing here. It's just to make your markings. So I do this both in the smaller and the larger section. So I'm going to use my markings on the outer section and make a rounded line from one side to the other. But if you have an easier way to do this, you can do it your own way and please leave your ideas here in the comments so that we can learn as well. Now you just need to cut out your template using a very sharp utility knife, cutting out using the markings you made. With your template cut out, we need to make our strips, which you will use for the side sections. But first, we're going to round in this part here at the top of the candy cane, the top point. So in order to round in this part, you can use a compass or a rounded object that reaches from one edge to the other, like a plate with a diameter of 22 centimeters. So you just need to position it like I am, making sure that it's touching either side and then cut it out so that this part is nice and rounded. Look how cool it looks! Now you just need to get another board and cut out some strips which are 15 centimeters in width. Once you have cut out some 15 centimeter strips, you will make some little marks on your strips every one centimetre in the same way that I'm doing here. Now you're going to use your utility knife to slowly cut the board making shallow, light cuts just to make some markings on your board. It should only cut through the top part of the board so make sure you cut very slowly. Don't cut with force otherwise it will cut all the way through the board. This will make the board really malleable, but still a whole complete strip. And look at how it bends nicely. This will really help us when we come to make our candy cane edges. Now you just need to glue the bottom part of the strip to the bottom of the edge of the template, like I'm here, using a glue gun to do this. You're gonna do this all the way around. If you need to add on an extra bit of strip, you can alter the part that you need, no problem. You can use a glue gun for this part and to help you, you can use tape. 
This way, you don't need to hold the strips in place whilst they dry. So you glue each one on, stick on the tape, and once it's all dry, you can remove the tape easily. So whilst you're here, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, leave your like for this video so that I can bring you new content, and leave me a comment letting me know what you would like to see here on the channel. Let me know what you'd like to see me make. So coming back to finalize our candy cane, we're going to fill it with balloons and for this we're going to use both rounded balloons and 260 balloons. I'm going to use 5 or 6 inch balloons blown up to 4.5 inches. And the 260 balloons you will blow up to your preferred size. So measure it out to your own template and decide the size of your sausage balloons. You decide the name. <laughs> And using a glue gun, let's glue them in. Pay attention to the fact that my glue gun has two temperature settings. And with this type of material, I use mine on the low temperature setting. This way there's no risk of the balloons bursting. So if you have a glue gun with two temperatures, you can use that. Or if you have another product to do this, let me know what you used. And once you've filled it with all of the balloons, now it's time to add in the 260 balloons. So I've already blown mine up to the size of my choice and now I just need to glue them on. For this, I'm also using a glue gun. Before gluing, I'm gonna position them because as I've blown them up to my sizes of choice, of course, using the template as a guide, I'm gonna position them in the way I would best like to glue them on so that the balloons are well placed. And once they're all in place, I'm going to take them out and glue them in one by one. So you just need to do this the same way as I'm doing here, which will work perfectly for you. Now that it's all ready, I'm going to teach you a way to secure the candy cane to the ground so that it doesn't fall over with a breeze. So what I do is I get some tape, tape it to the ground, if you have a tiled floor, you can use a glue gun and glue the structure directly to the floor. But if you're not sure of the flooring, it's recommended for you to use some tape and using a glue gun, glue onto the tape and then glue your candy cane on top. This will help it to stay upright without any problems with wind. And this is how the final result will look. Really cute, right? Perfect for you to take photos in front or behind, wherever you like, and it stays nice and firm, okay? And you can also turn this candy cane around to use as a J. I'm gonna use mine as a J to make the most of the decoration, but I'm gonna save this for another video. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed the craft, leave your opinions, suggestions and messages here in the comments, tell me what you thought and if you have stayed until the end, don't forget to leave an emoji. Lots of love to you all, bye and Merry Christmas!